this tutorial show you how to use um, list view. List view performs uh, basically same function as uh, combo box, but uh, it allow users to select more than one value. So they should be able to select single value or multiple values. Make sure you add the package name in front of FXML documents. Then I will open SimBuilder, add at least one uh, list view and uh, one text area. And I will remove uh, existing label. I will keep the original button. Let me add one list view. Uh, I will use a prefix called LV, stands for list view. Then I will add uh, one text area so that we can see output. Um, our name is LV items. Uh, it may refers to a uh, lines. The items belongs to list view. Then uh, I will make a new controller so that you should be able to see new objects name in Java controller class. I'm going to use string value, so let me change to. Um, uh, list view type as a string. Then uh, let me remove all implementation belongs to handle button actions. Um, next step is pretty similar to a uh, combo box or choice box. Uh, let me demonstrate quickly how to add uh, multiple items one by one, then uh, maybe several items at once. Then uh, lastly, I will use uh, observer list with uh, list view so that uh, you can set up initial values at the beginning. Now I'll show you how to select um, 
the items belongs to list view and uh, uh, send it out as a output to text area. For observable array list, we need to um, use the selection model, whether it is um, um, multiple selection model or single selection model. So um, then, then we can use the method belongs to uh, that selection model. So in this case, get selection selected item or get selected index, and so on. So we can point it out whether item is belongs to a multiple selection model or a single selection model. In this case, we are going to demonstrate a single selection model. Then eventually, we need to do one more things to to change so that we can make it as a multiple selection model so that we should be able to select multiple items. Because we are using selected item here, it's going to return object, which is a string object. Uh, first time I select item 10 and then 8, so it returns 10 and 8 as uh, two objects. Um, it seems like uh, some some uh, areas are missing on uh, list view. Let me uh, adjust it so that everything will appear properly. Next, I will show you how to get um, list view items to uh, text area. There will be two output. One is get selected item by one item, and uh, there will be a whole list of uh, items belongs to list view by get items. Okay, open it is more useful to get uh, index value rather than uh, the item objects. So uh, I will quickly demonstrate how to get index value based on a selected item. Method is name is pretty straightforward get selected index. See, now you should be able to see index value 0, which is the first item, and then 6 if you count it, uh, that's the seventh item.
So we can actually um, create a private array. Then we can use them as a observable array list. Then we can uh, link to um, to uh, list view later on. Uh, our assumption is that uh, if we know the initial value at the beginning, uh, in this case, uh, items number one, two, three. Or you can actually assume that item one to ten, uh, whatever you have. Once you finish uh, defining an observable list, you can set an observable list with a list view. The idea is a pretty simple uh, every items and then uh, set items so that you can link to each other. Okay, it seems like I forgot to import uh, observable list in FX collections. So let me import them. Okay, advantage of using uh, list view is is that uh, the users allowed to select more than one items, but the by default it it's it's based on a single selection model. So we may need to do one more things so that we can change to a multiple selection model. I will show you how to change it. Uh, straightforward, only one line saying uh, we just change the selection model to multiple.
Once you select the multiple items, uh, we should be able to process one by one. So uh, let me use uh, enhance for loop so that we can process the um, on the list view objects one by one. The uh, method I'm going to use here is get selected indices. So in our case, uh, list view has uh, 10 items. So this method will return value 10, which is the uh, um, size of a uh, list view. Okay, for outputs, I will use the console. Then uh, I will bring you back to uh, text area later on. Okay, get the I uh, method will return the elements at the specific location in this um, drink list object. So let me just uh, print it I as well so we can see which item uh, we are reporting to this. For demonstration, let me select uh, multiple items uh, based on odd numbers. As you can see, uh, output console um, is going to show you uh, item name of item, I, item 13579, and then uh, the relevant uh, index value, which is 02468. Okay, now I show you how to um, print it out selected items to uh, text area, which is uh, pretty much same. Uh, let me just copy paste it. And it's going to be exactly the same, but for output, uh, I may need to make a minor changes for new line. Um, I will also change to uh, print instead of print errand. And then I will add a new line, so it will be looks exactly the same as a uh, output console and uh, text area. Uh, let me demonstrate exactly the same items. So let me select the odd numbers. Then uh, same for output will appear on the uh, output console. Then the same items will appear on text area. I often prefer to use the uh, output consoles to um, to double check. I think that's all for this tutorial.